Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day. Hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and holidays and New Year's coming up here real soon. I wanted to make this video on how to dual mine Radiant and Zilliqa. This is a pretty awesome method, I think, that has great future potential and uh, not financial advice, of course, but I'm going to talk about that more so later on through the rest of the video. But mainly, I want to show you how this is done on how to dual mine utilizing BZ Miner. And apparently this can be done with other coins, uh, this method that I'm going to show you, but it takes a little bit of configuring. It's a little bit confusing at first, but I'm just going to show you how to do it within HiveOS here. And I'm not quite sure if this is possible in Windows, but we're, we are kind of tricking it in a way, but I'll show you what I mean here in a second. So thank you to ETA Kareen on my Discord. Thank you so much, man. If you guys would like to speak to him, He's on my Discord, Discord link down below. Just quickly showing you, this is a 6x3070 rig here. I've been testing this for the past couple of days. I will go through how much we've mined over the past couple of days here in terms of Radiant and also Zilliqa and uh, just talking about the profitability. We'll go through that later, but mainly here, let's go to my flight sheet, okay? Show you guys how this is done. So feel free to freeze frame this for anyone that knows how to read it in this method here. Uh, but let me go now and edit this so you guys can see how normally when you create a new flight sheet. Okay, so we're kind of masking it. We're not we're not mining Ethereum Classic. Okay, just to let you know, but we're putting the coin here for ETC, and then we're gonna change the parameters here. I'll show you in a second. So. Just do ETC, get an ETC wallet, okay? You're not putting your Radiant or Zilliqa wallet in the ETC. It's you're, We're not using that anyway. But anyways, just put ETC. Then you're going to do pool, configure in miner. Then you're going to select BZ miner. Then you want to do the dual coin uh, Radiant, okay? And then put your, I guess, Radiant wallet in uh, that dual wallet method here. And then you want to do dual pool, which I'm mining to Wooly Pooly for Radiance. Okay, so now this is where it gets tricky. So we're going to go to Setup Miner Config. This is where you're going to do all your tricky stuff. Okay, so it should be enabled for now both second coin and first coin uh, tabs here. So let's just go through the first tab here for first coin. So hash algorithm, just put ETC hash. And then the wallet template, you will want to manually put in the wallet address for Radiant. And normally you would just put, you know, the percentage sign wallet percentage sign. Uh, we're not doing that because if you did that, it would put the ETC wallet. So you don't want to do that. All right. You want to manually put in your Radiant wallet here. Okay. Next one, worker name. That's totally fine. Just have it as that. And then the pool URL. Okay. This is where you want to manually put it in as well. Okay. So don't do the uh, percentage sign URL. You'll have to put in the, the pool for the Radiant uh, mining pool that you want to mine to. All right, in my case, I'm just doing woolly pulley. And then this is where it gets tricky, okay? The extra config arguments, we are forcing algo radiant and forcing the algo to zill, all right? And uh, there is the overclock offset. For me personally, I'm using 3070s, okay? You'll, these overclocks here, you will have to find out which ones are good for you. I do have multiple videos, which I'll have linked down below for fine tuning, depending on the GPUs you have for Radiant or Caspa. I think it's around the same overclocks. But anyways, this first column here, all right, 1470, 250, 810, this is gonna be designated for mining Radiant. And then the second column here is for mining Zilliqa. So it's great that BZ Miner will switch between the two when it comes time to mining Zilliqa, it switches to Zilliqa every one to two hours for like a minute, all right? But you can see the overclocks for Zilliqa. It's like the very similar for when we were mining Ethereum. Okay, we're using absolute core clock, like 1100. Uh, but for my 3070s here, I'm just doing 1170. And then the memory clock offset is 2600, all right? This may be very familiar for a lot of you. Okay, so I'll have this in the description below. This is where you want to put it in the extra config arguments. Okay, and then latest version, yeah, just, just do latest. And then uh, we're not going to apply yet because you have to do the second coin. Okay, this is where we're going to be putting in the second hash algorithm is going to be Radiant. And then this is where you're going to put in your wallet template. Uh, this is where you're putting in your Zillica address. Okay, you can get one from uh, Zillit.io. This is where I use my Ledger wallet. And this is where I'm going to be staking my Zillica. And we've talked about this in previous history when we were triple coin mining Ethereum, Zillica, and Alethium. That was great back then. But we're going to come back to this. I'll talk about the future prospect here in a second. So anyways, the second tab here, this is where you want to put your pool URL. This is for the Zillica pool. We're using shard pool. Okay. And then extra config arguments. It will carry forward what you put in 
on the first coin. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, and that's it. Okay, apply changes and then save your flight sheet and you should be good for dual mining, Radiant and Zilliqa. So I just want to show you guys how it's, it's happening. Okay, so right now you can see that it says mining uh, Radiant and then we have a Zill uh, option, second option here. So it says waiting and it says status soon. So what's going to happen and I'll put on the screen here of like basically when it, it switches here. Okay, you can see that it does then change to mining on Zill for one to two minutes or so, okay? And then I'll show you here that it opens up in, uh, it founds a solution. It will then carry forward, move over, switches over the overclocks to mining Radiant, which is just awesome. Okay, so that's that's really how it works. So it's not technically really, it's, it's dual mining, but it's not, you know, mining both at the same time, if that makes sense. So, oh, looks like it's changing over to Zill. Oh, perfect timing, perfect example. And so you can see that the OC overclocks have are now changing for Zill. And now it should say mining for Zillica over on this uh, column here, which is just awesome. I, I didn't know that BZ Miner, you know, did something like this. And apparently you can do that with other coins like Neoxa Zill. Uh, this is through the other coins that you can do on BZ Miner. I have not tested that personally. Uh, but you guys can let me know. I, I think Ergo Zill is possible and also Caspa can be done as well. But you have to uh, change your Radiant wallet to Caspa wallet, Caspa pool, and then force the algo, I think Caspa as well. Okay, so that is pretty awesome. Okay, so you, so you guys can see here, yeah, it's mining Zillica now. So there you go. I want you guys to let me know if this was successful for you or not. Now, I want to go through the numbers here. Some of you guys may be questioning Red Panda, is it even profitable or not? And for me, I, I don't really care about the profitability part because I'm going to be hodling the Zillica. I'm going to be staking the Zillica. But for anyone curious about the profitability, I'm going to have to say yes. Even though I'm gaining like another, what, 16, you know, 10 to 16 cents extra. Just showing you guys, you know, normally I would mine about around 1,050 to 1,100 radiant a day on a 6x3070 rig. That would be worth about a dollar and one right now. But since we are taking a little bit of a hit, right, it's about every... I would say about 48 minutes a day that it's going to be mining Zillica. So we are going to get a little bit less uh, yield for Radiant every day. But the positive thing here is that we're roughly getting about 15 Zill a day, which is worth about 25 cents. So hopefully you guys understand that part. But of course, we are using a little bit more power when we're mining Zillica, but that's for only about, you know, less than an hour a day. So doing the math there, I think we are still eking out in terms of we are getting a extra coin which, you know, to me personally, the, the future prospect here is that Zillica could potentially moon again. Not financial advice, but I think hodling it and staking it, you know, getting more Zill uh, from staking and just essentially getting it for free. I mean, you know, extra as a potential like moon bag, right? Not financial advice, of course, but just something that I think is pretty interesting in itself that you could make a lot of money from doing. So I want to know from you guys if you think this is a cool idea. So I'm, I'm, I'm just letting you guys know I'm staking it through uh, the Ledger wallet, but it does connect to the Zillit web wallet. And then that's where you can then stake through there. All right. It's pretty, pretty easy to do. I'm not going to go through all this, but it's on Ledger's website here. If you want to get a uh, Zillica address through your Ledger device, if you use one. And again, we have talked about this before of, you know, the future potential and uh, also triple coin mining back then. <laughs> we were doing Ethereum, Zillica and Lithium. So feel free to watch that video if you want to have it linked down below. But let me know if you guys think this method is cool or not and uh, or a waste of time. Who knows if Zillica could go up in the future or not or keeps going down or if you care about profitability, then if you're obviously selling every day, which I'm not, then I could be, you know, losing out if, you know, the coins never go up in price ever again for Radiant and Zillica. I forgot to show you that. Here's my, I'm showing you my results here of mining and uh, here on shard pool, I'm getting around 15 Zillica a day, roughly on average. And for Radiant, I've been getting about a thousand. So let me know what you guys think in terms of just mining the coin by itself and also mining Zillica at the same time. If you guys are going to try this or not, I am going to try out some other coins here, Neoxa Zill. I'll try uh, Olhash. I don't know what this coin is. Uh, Alethium Zill, Caspa Zill. I guess this all can be possible uh, doing this method here with the flight sheet. You have to do custom uh, here in the 
uh, config configuration, BZ Miner configuration. So yeah, let me know if you guys are successful or not and uh, any other optimizations or fixes you guys think that can be done here. If you made it near the end of this video, I am trying to figure out if we can do Flux and Zill. I think that's a future potential long-term play. A lot of people that are mining Flux and you know Zill right now. So I'm waiting for that solution to come out as well. So I'll see you all in the next video. Let me know your thoughts. Have a good one. Peace out.